Now, this is something you don't hear very often at the moment, the expansion of a newspaper, and one that's still printed physically at that. The New European, which emerged following the pro-Brexit result in the 2016 referendum in the UK, is expanding, appropriately enough, across Europe. And today we can reveal that the newspaper has been bought by its management from the UK regional newspaper publisher Archant. Well, Gavin O'Reilly, the media investor and ex-chief executive of Independent News and Media, is the new executive chairman, and I'm very pleased to say he joins me now. Gavin O'Reilly, welcome to you. If this newspaper has such fantastic prospects, why are Archant selling it? Well, they've just been bought by private equity themselves, and um, I, they are Argent or regional publishers up in, in Norwich and great regional publishers at that. Um, and I think this, this particular brand didn't sit with their portfolio. So the opportunity arose. Matt Kelly, who founded the paper uh, four and a half years ago, uh, negotiated with Argent, brought me in, and uh, we managed to do what I think is a good deal for Archon and a good deal for ourselves. And we got some really great investors uh, on board. Um, Lionel Barber, former ex-editor uh, of the FT, and uh, Mark Thompson, amongst uh, other tech investors as well. And what made you want to get involved? Well, I've been in publishing all my life. Um, I've known Matt for years. I've always really respected what he had done with the New European. I mean, it, it started obviously in the wake of the Brexit vote uh, four and a half years ago. And uh, it was only supposed to be a title that was in existence for four weeks. And four and a half years later, we're still here. Uh, and that's all because of Matt, his great tenacity, his great vision for the title. But it's a title that I don't think has ever really fully exploited its true potential. And, uh, you know, that is going to now be made possible by the uh, the investment uh, that we're going to make, expansion across Europe, expansion of our digital and print products. And print is much derided, uh, I know, but uh, it still is a very, very, uh, very relevant medium. And uh, ultimately, it'll be for our readers to decide. I mean, we're agnostic as to platform. It'll be for our readers to decide how they wish to consume the new European. A lot of critics would say, well, hang on, the new European uh, supported Remain, that cause is now lost. What are you arguing for now? Well, I don't necessarily think that we're necessarily arguing for anything. I mean, it's right, it was the paper of the 48%, if you want to call it that. But uh, I think the new European is perhaps even more relevant than it was in those debates four years ago. Um, we're now out of... Uh, the European community, but it still is the most relevant uh, trading bloc uh, for the United Kingdom. Uh, a lot of promises have been made as to how Brexit is supposed to manifest itself, which has real life uh, impacts on people. And I think, you know, the new European will be holding the Brexiteers to account, but equally it'll be holding uh, the Europeans, uh, whether it's the EU or the Parliament, uh, to account as well, because certainly the European has always been consistently advocating for progressive change and reform within Europe, and that's still required. Will the title be campaigning for the UK to rejoin the EU? Well, look, I think that uh, that debate is uh, has, has been lost for now. I mean, certainly, uh, I don't see any immediate prospect of the UK returning uh, to Europe in the, uh, in the immediate uh, uh, term. But who knows? It may happen in the future. Uh, but I think quite independent of that, I think the, the new European certainly has uh, an important uh, voice or projects an important voice for British nationals, but also for Europeans trying to understand what is happening uh, or what is not happening in the UK vis-a-vis -vis its relationship with Europe. And briefly, is the title profitable at the moment? Yeah, marginally profitable. Um, I mean, I don't think we're going to be uh, making millions this year. Uh, we've got a pretty aggressive investment plan um, and... Uh, you know, we're going to be making those investments this year. That'll have a short-term impact on profitability, but but certainly we have a, a fairly vigorous and rigorous uh, investment case going forward. All right, Gavin O'Reilly, we have to leave it there, I'm afraid. Very good to talk to you this morning. Thanks for joining me. Thanks, Ian. Thank you.